<laughs> All right. What's up, everybody? <laughs> It is Matt Johnson, the real Matt Johnson. We are back on Real Estate Uncensored. This is the place where you get actionable ideas, insight, and inspiration to turn your real estate career into a life of freedom. And we've got a fun guest and a fun topic today. Marky Lemons Ryle is here. We are talking about social selling and social media, how to crush it, crush it in 2019. Uh, Greg is in an interesting, funky mood. Gene is in a fantastic mood. I'm somewhere in the middle, and Marky is way ahead of all of us because I've never met a more bubbly, happy person in my entire life. So I'm super pumped for this episode. We'll try to keep it on the, the semi-short side since we're broadcasting late. First of all, the Junior Grandmaster, you are in the co-pilot seat where you so belong, although just by the hair of your chinny chin chin, which is literally for today. Well, <laughs> I actually shaved right before we came on air. Yeah, uh, that's, what sure. I, that's what I did. I actually killed my computer so I can quickly go shave. Not just for you. <laughs> <laughs> that's the, that was the evil genius behind everything. Um, you know what? <clears throat> There are some of those days when you want to go out and throat punch the world. I'm having one of those days right now, and I'm literally sitting here rubbing my earlobes. Woosa. Woosa. <laughs> Just bring it down. Just bring the anger sharks down. That's right. Oh, my Breathe God. Breathe deep. Breathe deep, McDaniel. All right. I'm trying, Gene Volpe, man. officially I'm welcome to you. Uh, yo, listen, thanks for having me. Real quick, I'm going to make Greg feel better real quick, because I don't know if you caught oh. this at the outset of this. Marky, can you do that shimmy again real quick? <laughs> that a go. Nice. There you go. I knew that made Greg feel better. That was good. <laughs> that was good. And and with that, Marky officially welcome to the show. <laughs> What's crack a lack in this beautiful Friday? So I hate to be at the other end of the spectrum. Um, but I did have a pooty week and I did a lot of cursing, which is why I am having a fabulous Friday. I think you should curse a little more. Ooh, yeah, I think, thank you. I think Greg can handle that. <laughs> can fucking A, yeah, I can. That's what I mean. Yeah. Matthew, you and I just became oh, best man. friends for life. Yeah. That's right. Now oh, we're going to pick on the Johnson. Oh, good. Good, good. All right, we're going to start. Uh, we're talking about social media. We'll get to some other stuff about productivity maybe. We want to talk about Snapchat a little. Why don't we start there? Uh, there's a great question from uh, one of my buddies, Jonathan, on the Lead Gen Subscription Objections Facebook group that says, uh, who here is using Snapchat at a high level to connect with your social media following and grow your business? I'm sure we all have a lot of strong opinions. I'll get to Gene's opinions in a second. Marky, let's start with uh, with you before we kind of dive into your background and stuff for the viewers that don't know you. What's your, uh, what's your personal feeling on Snapchat right now? My personal feeling is that Instagram is kicking Snapchat in the butt, and every time I think about creating that content that disappears in 24 hours, if we go over to Instagram, we can now utilize highlights and convert that content over to IGTV. So there are so many places that if it was great short, we can make it even better long, and that just simply doesn't <laughs> exist over in the Snapchat environment. Yeah. Couldn't agree more. Gene, what about you? Listen, <laughs> I, I, I always love telling this story, right? I love telling this story. The story goes, I guess, a couple years back, Zuckerberg walked into the CEO's office of Snapchat and offered to buy that piece for $4 billion. The guy said, no, it's worth 10 Zuckerberg left, went back to his people and went, crush them. And and, yeah. and seriously, and, and I think... I think I like Snapchat. It's just not worth my my attention personally, just because of like a lot of different things. But I think I don't. I mean, this is the way it's going. Instagram Live Stories, whatever, is going to be if it's not already the next Facebook. So I, I've, if people are asking about Snapchat and they're not already using it on a daily basis, I don't recommend you get into it. There's better places to spend your time. Yeah. Well, let's let's dive deeper on that. Let's talk about since since Instagram has made such a such a crushing move on Snapchat and is gaining on Facebook, especially in certain demographics. Why don't we focus the, the efforts for this episode there? Um, Marky, let's start with you first before we jump into the Instagram stuff and some of the fun stuff that you're doing. Just share a little bit about kind of who you are, where you are, what you do so people have a sense of, uh, of your perspective. So I'm Marky Lemons Rao, real estate keynote speaker. I train probably 25,000 to 30 realtors annually face-to-face -face at state and local realtor conferences and events. I am a certified CRS instructor. Uh, I teach for Readback, WCR, the national convention every single year, uh, Realtor Magazine, uh, I was an editor of one of their uh, publications, and so I do a lot inside of the Realtor Association organizations. Very cool. Okay, so when you look at what, what's going on on Instagram and the games that they've made and just all the progress and all the new features and stuff, uh, where are you personally putting most of your attention, mental energy, and horsepower? Uh, where is all that going in Instagram? 
Uh, a lot of it's going over to IGTV only because I've seen a 818% increase in my views over the past 21 days once they started to allow previews of IGTV in the feed. So I'm spending a lot of time on that vertical video creation, long form, that's 15 seconds for most up to 10 minutes, uh, because Mark Zuckerberg, glad that you brought him up, has stated that this is going to be the year of stories and live. So I'm really starting with stories, but I'm creating it for IGTV, which is Instagram television, only because of the increases I've seen. Hold on, you grew 818% in the last 20 days? 21 days, if I looked at video views of IGTV, when it has to be longer than 60 seconds, you allow for it to be previewed. I've also grown my followers by 1,060 as of yesterday as well. Something's going on with the algorithm, but if you give them some IGTV, uh, the views are up substantially plus the amount of followers. Okay, so I'm going to dork out with you real quick. I got my IG up here right now for all the everyone listening. Now, where do I find the IGTV? Is it right up next to my messenger button? Yeah, it's up at the top right-hand side thing? if you're in the home screen. Oh, so tap on that. How do I shut this dude up? Shut up, dude. <laughs> and Yo, that's me. me. You, yeah, that's what I mean. Shut up. <laughs> so when you're in the home screen, it's going to be to the right of uh, the messenger. But what I want you to think about is all of the horizontal videos you've created, you could use a third-party app called InShot, and anything that was great horizontal, put it in the InShot app. So basically, you're taking that horizontal video, putting it into a vertical frame so that you can load it to IGTV, because IGTV does want vertical video. If not, it distorts it. So vertical up and down, not, way, yeah. obviously not exactly. sideways. So just for what we, essentially what we're doing now is we're taking all that great horizontal video, we're mm -hmm. putting it inside of a vertical frame or story frame, okay. and then loading it to IGTV. So, so let, now, let, me, the, let me ask you something real quick. I'm sorry. Sorry, let me ask you something because I've heard this I'm little sorry. trick played, right? So, Greg, just going back real quick to your point. The, the, when they kicked IGTV off, the whole, the whole motto was to – to have video used on your smartphone the way it's supposed to be held, right? So, right. like, in other words, they were saying you don't have to turn your thing. But what I found, Mark, and I'm curious to your thoughts on this, a lot of people are actually starting their IGTV saying, hey, this video is actually made to go 16 by 9. So they actually will do a full video sideways. I don't know if you've seen this yet, so that you can actually turn it because it doesn't rotate when you turn. Right. So you can turn it and watch a full-sided video that way. What are your thoughts on doing it this way well, with, with I, the preface that it's going to be sideways? Well, here's the thing. Now you want people to take an additional action. And so every time we ask someone to do one more thing, they're less likely to do it. And so you're telling people to turn the phone. What about us who have screen locks on, right? So now we got to take the screen lock off, you know what I'm saying, uh, and rotate this phone. So what my recommendation is for the end shot, and I guess you can kind of see this, this video is going to actually play in the center, but that's IGTV. Right. So I'm not making you turn anything. So how do I how do I record IGTV? So IGTV is nothing but pre-recorded video. So so I just go on my camera, I record, record. something non-live, and then I just upload it to Instagram. You upload it to IGTV. So you won't load it to Instagram. You still have to go back to that funny-looking television at the top right-hand side and load it there. But here's what's a little different about IGTV. Not only can you load it from the mobile device, you can also load it from your computer. So there is mm -hmm. the ability that from the desktop you can load IGTV, but you still can't load to the feed. So how, how do I – how do I <laughs> – so I mean, this is just, what we're going to do. We're going to go back to that home screen, and yeah, then yeah, yeah. up there at that top right-hand side, you hit that button, and you have to activate yours if you haven't done so. What oh, you're going to so see nice. on mine is probably a plus, plus button at the top right-hand side. So I'm going to hit this plus button, and now I can pick anything off of my phone, and I can load it. But for visible uh, – let me give you a little bit more. For visible standpoint, I want to make sure that I use that end shot because – the reason my views are up, if you come back over to my feed, you'll mm -hmm. see that it's dis uh, displayed in square format because I use the end shot. So you want the preview to look good as well. It's two, It's a two-in-one to make it work right. So I have to make sure it's longer than 60 seconds to be able to preview. Then that thumbnail is essentially in the feed, so it needs to fit square. 
right? If not, it's distorted and it cuts you off. I did it one time and people got like the bottom of my chin. Well, who's going <laughs> to click on the bottom of my chin, right? <laughs> so InShot lets you make it square center so it looks good in the preview and then it opens to vertical. Interesting. Okay, so maybe I'm the mental Greg, major here. If you here. haven't created a channel yet, I think that's where you're. What well, did you create the channel button. yet? <laughs> I guess that's yeah. what, how, how do yeah, I do you that? created the channel yet. Where okay, do I do that? so click on that funny looking television, top right hand side. Gotcha. Okay, now does it tell you to activate or do something? No, I just have. Are a, you seeing uh, other people's uh, videos? So, I'm I'm seeing Gary V play. Okay, so now. At uh, the Greg, on the right hand top, side of that, there might well, be a settings wheel. Channel. Yep, right there. There you go. Marky, for the record, I would yes. I would click on your chin, just for the record. <laughs> yeah, I would. And, but let, let me let me ask you something um, while while Greg's figuring that out, because I think this is right. You know, I, Matt, I, I don't know how got you feel. it. I, I think got this it. is good for the folks that are listening too, because there's probably a lot yes. of people that haven't started their IGTV yet. So it's a good it's a good procedure. Yeah. But let me ask you this: mm -hmm. one of the things I've noticed on IGTV is I feel like people are saving their very highly produced content for IGTV, not your everyday things that would fit in a story. Do you recommend that we spend a little extra time in the editing room with the IGTV content, or do you not care? Um, I do think, well, let me say this. I do think that you want to have some production in there. However, we know from across every other channel, people are connecting with people that they feel are authentic, and there is – People don't want made up versions of us. It's just not going to be the best um, engaging form of content. So I wouldn't spend a whole lot of extra time on an IGTV production when I know that people want the true, authentic, unedited version of you. Okay. So and this is basically an opportunity. What would your optimal time on IGTV, like, would it be the same as, like, video format, like two minutes? <laughs> I would go, honestly, I just need it over the 60-second mark so that it can preview because that's the reason that the increase in views uh, have occurred. So I'm telling people anything over 61 seconds. I just need it to be over 60 seconds, right? <laughs> and, you know, if you cut it too close, it won't preview. And so um, I would probably go for uh, 61 to to 75 seconds because people are – they want – actually, they want 30, about 30 seconds, right? But – I would push it only for the limits of ensuring the preview up to 75 seconds. Okay, so now, again, the mental midget's going to step in here. Mm -hmm. um, Matt, you can weigh in any time. That's your cue. Oh, oh, oh sorry. <laughs> I was waiting. Uh, well, uh, I just yeah, I, well, I, I want to clarify. So basically, when we're when we're looking at our Instagram feed scroll pass and we see the square preview videos, if you click to uh, to turn on the sound. Uh, you'll get about, what is it, the first 15 seconds of it is what you get where it's in the feed before you have to choose to continue watching it. Is that uh, are we, am I thinking the right thing? It's just the same thing, it but 60 it's 60 now? seconds, right. So it's 60 seconds gotcha. preview in the feed, and then you click to watch the full version. Okay, so what are, what, gotcha. what are, And you're uh, saying, so, so you, you want to start doing an IGTV today. Yes. What's the point of it? The point of it is I believe IGTV is being positioned to be to vertical video what essentially YouTube was to horizontal video. And so when I think about it, because we know that today there will be one billion interactions just in stories alone, mm -hmm. that they want us to have a place. Um, a lot of us haven't found the value, and why would we create all of this content that's going to disappear in 24 hours? Mm -hmm. I believe it's positioning itself to take the best of the short content figure a way to put it together, and then put it on a permanent channel like a YouTube, but it's catered to vertical video. So these are just going to be – you. interesting. So this is, a, this is short content. It is not – it's not three to five to ten minutes. This is 75 seconds, <laughs> 90 seconds. I think 70 – I said 75 would be ideal. However, if you have less than 10,000 followers – your uh, IGTVs can be up to 10 minutes in duration. For those who have more than 10,000 followers, they can go up to 60 minutes. I just don't see anybody sitting there holding their phone like this. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, what he's saying is so interesting. <laughs> yeah, for that long. You know what I'm saying? So then that's yeah. where that, if you were going to go longer in time, then that's when definitely turning the phone. And putting it back down would come into play, but how long is someone really mm -hmm. going to do this? And here's the thing: I have a pop socket, so I would definitely not just sit here and hold this thing. Hmm. Okay. What? What I'm do you mean by pop about, socket? 
Oh, so it pops like out on the back your... of the phone. Yeah, on the back yeah. of the phone. The back. So I don't hold my phone anymore. And to be quite honest uh-huh. with you, this thing dummies you down because if when it broke, I went and got like a whole bag of them from different <laughs> conventions. Because I'm okay. like, who the hell holds a phone anymore? And my husband talks about huh. me because this is just on the back of my fingers all the time. <laughs> you know, I, I actually I, I tried that thing a couple of years ago. I thought they were stupid. And then I tried it. And I'm like, oh, this is so nice. It is great. Oh, my God. <laughs> <It's great. laughs> Especially for those oh, people man. who do not know how to get their selfies right to take photos. This is this should be called the selfie aid. It's really what it should be because I don't care what I'm doing. I got the phone. It's not going to go anywhere because I'm holding on to the pop socket. Mm. So my selfie okay. game is on point because of the pop socket. <laughs> <laughs> selfie game is on point. Oh, man. Well, it's so, so important. I've been telling Greg that I really need to get my selfie game on point. So thank yeah, God do. for this episode today, uh, the pot in the pop socket. Um, now, what, when you say it dumbs you, did you say you, it dumbs you down? It dummies you down. Because we don't, I don't even down. know how to hold the phone anymore. Like, oh, okay. Literally, yeah, almost... I felt sick to have to hold the phone. I'm going to be honest. I'm like, oh, God. You know, like this is just like not the thing to do. Because yeah. I've been used to not holding it, yeah. Gotcha. Okay. All right. But it doesn't affect, yeah, it doesn't affect your ability to use the apps or anything like that. You're just <laughs> no, talking about it. It makes you less able to hold a naked a naked phone <laughs> that doesn't have exactly. a pop socket on. Who wants to hold All a right. naked phone? No, I'm joking. This is the most hilarious <laughs> conversation ever. Okay. Back to IGTV. So you, do you believe that at least what they're trying to do, I don't know that they'll pull off successfully because I think it violates of the law category for one, but... The idea that they're going to build this repository or a YouTube of vertical video is interesting because I think we might see like what we saw with Facebook Live where they are kind of goosing the engagement and the reach and taking the people who are doing what they want you to do in the sense of IGTV and essentially serving you up to more people, right? Is that where you kind of have a spidey sense of what's going on? Uh, yes, that would be the, the oh, yes, that would be my spidey senses. I like yeah. that. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Which so there's always a good opportunity when when a platform is kind of pushing a certain new feature. If you jump on the most definitely, yeah. and we've seen so much great engagement, and it's not just me; it's everyone who decided that they would go on and utilize it. Now, I honestly don't believe that that's going to last long because if I was to go back and look at my initial. Uh, Facebook lives, the reach was substantially better than what it is now, even though those live videos still outperform any other form of content for me over on Facebook. Yeah. Then. yeah. Hmm. I'm still trying to wrap my head around why I'm going to do an IG, you know, channel. It's just to create, so it's just, an, that feeds into my, my, so now, my everything else. Right? If, if, if it's longer than 60 seconds, then it's going to come up as a preview. So if I was to go back, to my actual feed and people come over and look at the feed, there's mm-hmm. a special camera in the top right hand side just for IGTV. So when they had it as a separate channel with no preview, it was not performing well. It didn't do what they wanted it to do. Right. At the moment they turned on the preview feature where now it's in the feed and it's on the individual pages, oh. they saw a substantial increase. So they forced long form content over into the feed. To be honest with you, um, the business side of me is why didn't they just give you the opportunity to load up under store? Uh, if you go to stories, why didn't yeah. they just make long form and have it right there? Yeah, mm. yeah. So I was wondering yeah. why. Why another step? Uh, well, because yeah, I I guess, I'm assuming because stories were an emulation of Snapchat, and the whole purpose of stories was to immediately disappear, and that yeah. well, that <clears> just conflicts with the whole saved vertical video thing. It's like it's well, they're just two different things, right? Well, wait, hold on. Let me let me say this because the, I, you got to think about the. I'm going to break this down into two things real quick, and I'd love to see what Marky thinks about this. Number one, Greg, don't overcomplicate it, right? The reason, no, the, seriously, the, re, the reason why I'm going to break it down, though, the reason why you should do Instagram TV is because, as, as Marky said early, Zuckerberg said this is going to be the year of live stories. Right. So he's telling you this is where we're putting our money. This is where we're going to give you rewards for using it. So that's the reason why you use it, because just by default, it's going to get more than anything else. But flip now. Why why IGTV versus just doing live stories and then feeds? It's not going to show up in your feed because you're that's a forced watch. So if, if everybody did IGTV and forced you to watch it, then Instagram just becomes Facebook again and it gets cloudy. Now with, with stories, it's a short version, 
of, of a preview of maybe what I want to watch, and the IGTV is the television show. So by the time I'm watching Gary Vee on IGTV, I told Instagram, I saw the feed, I saw the story, I saw now I want to watch the real content. It's almost like a, a television channel. You, it's not a forced watch. So it's more of a, hey, Gene, what do you want us to watch? We're going to make you go through the extra steps. And if you do, we know you really want to see that content. Does that make sense? Hmm. No. That makes sense. Okay. <laughs> I thought it made great <laughs> sense. I, I am now, utterly, completely lost. I'm like, but let me say I, this. Uh, I'm going to put this phone back up again, right? And okay. there are essentially three different places that I can click to get three different forms of content. If I go to my top left-hand side, that's stories and live. If I go to the, let's do it as a V, I come down and I hit the plus sign, that's going to be the feed, historically square, and horizontal. If I come up to my top right-hand side, that's the IGTV. So in one platform, there are three different places to go yep. view content. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. And it's all photos or videos. Right. So, yeah. so, the, so the feed is for mm -hmm. your voyeurs and for your advertisement. And the IGTV is for your fans. You know what? I like that. Hmm, interesting. All right. Say that again, Gene. So if you can feed, remember what you feed, said. Yeah, the feed itself is, is forced content, right? So mm -hmm. Matt Johnson posts something from UX Machine, and because I'm following Matt Johnson, I see it. That's also a place for, for, for Instagram to put their ads because they know it's forced viewing. Their, people are going to see it, so they can charge money for it. That, that, so that's for your voyeurs, the people that are scrolling through just catching up on the updates. The IGTV is for your hardcore fan. Because if I'm coming to watch in 12 minutes of your content, I want to be there. Yeah. But think That's about this. The stories would also then be basically set up like the feed because we're starting to see ads in stories. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I mean, basically every third or fourth, like once they create a new form of content and once they get the ads rolling for it, it's every three to four pieces of content we're seeing an ad. And we're seeing them in stories. We'll see them in IGTV if they're not we already will. there, right? Yeah. We will, yep. And to remain relevant, essentially, you have to create stories every single day because they disappear. And you always want to be in, essentially, that other feed <laughs> where people are swiping left to right. Yep. I mm -hmm. mean, the way they have it set up, they're making us give them content consistently or our relevancy starts to drop. Those fuckers. Yep. Yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. aren't they? <laughs> yep. And, and by well, the way, yeah. this is... They're, you're gonna. I would, if you haven't seen this already, I would be willing to bet that you're gonna see it. Everything right now is about streaming, s streaming content. So what I mean by that is like think about your Netflix and your Hulu and your YouTube TV. They want people to come subscribe. At what point are we gonna start to see quote unquote streaming television shows on IGTV? Oh, I would say it's coming. It's, I mean, coming, it's everywhere right? else, right? It's coming. Yep. Yeah. So then we need a show, and I we need to be mm -hmm. one of those first shows, then, right? I agree. <laughs> Hey, I, I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. Oh, my God. Well, I think that in the bigger, just to hit the, the bigger picture real, real quick, um, I, was, I was thinking about this, and I think this will end up going into the book, the concept of pr having a primary platform and a secondary platform. All right, so you have a primary platform that's, that tends to be something longer form where you can have longer conversations or longer, you know, messages essentially to your tribe. And then you need a secondary platform, which is kind of further up the funnel, where you try to reach people that don't know, and you give them just enough of a taste to get them onto your primary platform. So it used to be, uh, you know, it used to be uh, you had an email list, and then in the early days you'd have MySpace and Facebook, right? That was the secondary. So people would use Facebook to get people onto their email list. Then it was podcasting. You'd pair up things like podcasting and LinkedIn, for example. So I think, you know, uh, the, the longer form, I don't see anybody like Marky, to your point, I don't see people consuming even five minutes of content on Instagram. Even still, like I notice it with myself, even stumbling across something that's really cool, I'm, I'm done. Like 75 seconds, 90 seconds or something like that, I'm ready to move on. Three or four or five minutes of someone talking, at least, you know, from, from our perspective, feels long on a platform like Instagram. So I think the challenge for us is to figure out where are we going to send them? And how do we get them off of a place like Instagram once they once they figure out that they like us? Where are they going? Well, it's so hard to get people off of Instagram because uh, unless you have 10,000 followers, it's only one link out of Instagram, and that means they have to come back to your bio. Right. Yeah. So one thing that Instagram has done a very good job is keeping you on their platform unless you have more than 10,000 people or you're doing some type of ad. Right.
Yeah, where you can essentially where you can like in the stories or whatever you can sw- give them the call to action to swipe up. Yep. So that and, makes and sense. You- yeah, and you only swipe up if you have over 10,000 followers, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, so hey, uh, Mr. Influencer, please spend all of your time here on Instagram building That's up it. in a, in a tribe in the hopes of getting to send 10,000, so that in the hopes of getting them off of Instagram and onto a platform where you can actually sell them something. But I think one of the benefits Genius. would be the fact that Facebook owns Instagram, and so you can also place your Facebook ads on Instagram and if you can get them back to your Facebook business page, then you can have them interact with the bot. Uh, so I, I'm, it's 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 not going to be just one step to a marketing mm-hmm. system. I mean, and we already know it's not. But if I looked at the average person in real estate, you know, they think it's just one thing. No, it, you're gonna, this is going to be an elaborate built out system with multiple components. Yeah. Yeah, and then I can see them following up just like with Facebook and uh, adding bots for the for the DM for Messenger in inside of Instagram or, so, or incorporating just what we know of as Messenger and consolidating Facebook and Instagram into that one platform. I've been hearing either whispers about that or that or that is going to happen. Gene, what have, is, yeah. am I am I on the right track about that? No, yeah. it's absolutely happening. He put out okay. a manifesto a couple of weeks ago about how that's what it was. Yeah, we I think we might have talked about it briefly. I have a link to it. Mm-hmm. Um, and basically, he's basically saying this need, it's going to get more private. It's not going to be a one-to-all right. anymore. It's, they're, they're converting more to a one-to-one conversation type thing. Inside yeah. of Instagram, I can easily send the content from Instagram to Messenger. So that ability is already there. Uh, in what in what sense? You can send the content from Instagram through Messenger. So if I was to come, uh, let's say I went to anybody's post. Right up under their post is a little kite, right? When I hit that uh, kite... I'm able to send, well, no, this is to everybody who's over here. Hold on one second. Let's see here. When I click on the top three buttons on the uh, the top of right of anybody's photo, it says share to Messenger. So I can take anybody's content and share it from Instagram to Messenger. And by the way, real quick, while you're looking at that, notice what's above share on Messenger, which is, is, is not. Is not to be overlooked. Oh, yeah. Most definitely share on WhatsApp, right? <laughs> right. Yeah, because they're saying right now, like, apparently WhatsApp is the communication of choice in China, and they're loving yeah. the way it's rolling out. They may they may, ro- they may, roll that out here as well. So. Yeah, it's the number one downloaded Damn. messenger app. And so right there, well, let me say this. You can only do that if the account is public. So then every business account is public, um, and then anybody who sets their um, personal account to public, you can share that content to Messenger and WhatsApp. Nice. Dude, I thought yeah. I was, like, somewhat proficient in social media. I'm like a toddler. <laughs> yeah, oh, listen, it only la- you get to the what pinnacle the of being fuck? the best at that spot, and, it, and then the next day comes. <laughs> And yeah. then Tuesday comes, right? right? Yeah. So wait, so listen, I got I got to bounce, right? Which I hate to because I'm what? enjoying the hell out of this. I got to run. Uh, no. dude. I got I got freaking yes. kids that are going to school. So uh, but, selfish but, son of a bitch. But listen, I know, I know, and I I hate it because I always love the good ones. This is a good one, but, but before thanks. I break the monotony here, I want to talk about what the tip was real quick because I want you guys to run with the tip. Okay. So because this fits right in, and I love to hear Marky's thought on it. So. Oh, Greg, he's the worst, and I already know why he's yeah, laughing. Greg, you are the worst. He, speaking of toddlers, <laughs> speaking of toddlers, right? So, Greg, I'm going to give you just the tip here. Here it comes. Ready? So, four, the four-minute challenge. Here's what I did over the last couple of weeks. I challenged all my clients. Take four and a half minutes, create four one-minute videos, because that's really – and, Mark, you know this. If you have that phone in your hand all the time, how long does it go? Hey, Gene Volpe from GVI Media, just want to talk to you about boom, boom, boom. And then post that sucker out on all channels for the next four weeks and watch the type of engagement. Get out of your way. Do a video. And one of the things I would say, and maybe Marky has a different way to put it, but start messing around with IGTV. If you're not doing it, throw it up there. Let's see. I got to tell you, I was impressed with your number. You said 818% increase. Now, I don't know how you got so specific, but, but but I think that's something that's definitely worth looking at. And when I hear you say that, then I know I'm posting more on IGTV, too. Yeah. Yeah. I, I took a I took uh, the last four videos I had done, and then I took the previous four before the format changed, added them all up, divided, then divided, just so yeah. you'll know how, how I, I got to the number. Uh, and it was okay. it's probably even higher than that um, because I had some other low performing, but I just took four before, four after. Gotcha. So would you, would you recommend it be all business, or is this more like a, like a personal side of you? Well, so 
I have an Instagram business account, but I let my personality show, period. So mm-hmm. I think that people do business with people. We should always add some personal content, but we should show up as business personal um, as opposed to super personal, right? So I'm not going to probably talk about farts, right, um, uh, with my business, <laughs> business clients. But if you were at my house eating barbecue, we might talk about it, right? So there's a different – it's levels to personal. So I right. think that you definitely want people to know who you are, what's important to you. It's okay to talk about the pets. It's okay to talk about the children and the spouse, but that highly sensitive stuff, yeah, probably wouldn't put it there. Right. Okay. So, so basically, do what you're doing on stories. Kind of. Do would you want to uh, uh, quantify your day? Not quantify. Would you want to uh, document your day on IGTV, or is that a stories category? Uh, then you do your photos, and then you do IGTV for more like a longer form story of an aspect of your day. So let's say I said I was going to a conference, I would do that on stories. But let's say that at the conference I met you and I was able to capture uh, two minutes of your time and we just do a quick video. Then I would take that quick video and put that on IGTV. So I would want to tie the two in together. Hey, going to the conference and here's a photo of outside, right? But then because I could meet somebody or I'm in a great session and they dropped a few nuggets, I would take at least 60 seconds of that and put it to IGTV. And that's how you get to record it onto your phone and then upload it. Yes. To the, to, oh, so IGTV so is pre-recorded, pre-recorded. Okay. But you here's the beautiful th- thing. If you even have some great horizontal videos that have done well or landscape, take those, use the app InShot, and you can load those to IGTV. So what I'm telling people now, because the channel is new, Go find great content that's still relevant to start building it out to test it. Interesting. So get get a lavalier microphone, you know, get plugged in, get some good audio, you know, just start having fun with it. And you, would you Now, is this something that, like on stories, you know, some people abuse it and post like a thousand stories in one day and it gets annoying to watch them all. Would you want to do like a, 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 a IGTV like once a day, twice a day, once a week? I would, I would say once a day. Because okay. remember, I wanted to uh, I wanted to populate and preview in the feed, and so I don't want to just build. I want to get the most uh, views, and so I would say make it a once per day. But then I want to tie everything back. I believe that agents should do at least one sixty second video every single day, and that they should decide and toggle between vertical and horizontal. So to make things easier for realtors who just don't want to do this. Think of Monday, Wednesday, Friday, horizontal, Tuesday, Thursday, vertical, <laughs> and then you repost it to the channels that fit that format. You're hurting uh, Interesting. Head. Okay. So, so, yeah, hey, put, put a pin in that for a second. Let's let Gene go because he, he got hey, us started on the track of how to, how to do this. Gene, where can people reach you? Where do they connect? GeneVolpe.com or get, get with me on Facebook. Friend me real quick. That's it. We just met. <laughs> <laughs> How do people find you on Instagram, which is the platform we just spent the last half listen, hour all, talking l- about? Listen, just search Gene Volpe anywhere on the web. You'll get every single piece of content I ever put out. The all Gene right. Volpe on Instagram. Do it up. Good, good. I plan to do that. Shower myself in Gene. Okay. Yeah. Marky, how do you? Uh, how do people get in contact with you? And then we'll finish uh, up. I'm Marky Lemons, M-A-R-K-I-L-E-M-O-N-S. If you spell my name right, you will find me on every channel. So why you ge- why you Gene in yourself, Marky yourself? <laughs> <laughs> okay my inner 10 year old is having a blast <laughs> oh my god that was funny uh greg how do people connect with you before we have one last question from marky oh you're right i went from my like grumpy 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 grump to uh just losing my marbles marky you are a master <laughs> at this <laughs> thanks um uh, Guys, go to bookmcdaniel.com. Um, again, bookmcdaniel.com is 30 minutes of your of your life. Let's talk about EXP. Let's talk about uh, what Matt and I are building, the tribe that we're building, the in the influencers we're going to be able to connect you with, the value add that our team will build for you, um, how I can mathematically show you you'll make more money by joining our team and being connected to people like Marky. Not so much for Matt because he won't answer your phone calls. He doesn't even answer mine, but I'll answer your calls. I know, Marky. Exactly. She gave, gave the shocked face, like, oh, say it's not true, but it's true. <laughs> uh, but in all, all seriousness, without you know, no more jokes, I can't do that. I have, to, I have to have jokes. But seriously, go to bookmcdaniel.com. Let's find 30 minutes that work for you, and let's talk about EXP. There you go. That, there, there it is, Matt. <laughs>
All right. <laughs> um, so I want to finish out, Mark. You said something interesting, which is that if you can get them moved off of something like Instagram onto, let's say, a Facebook business page, for example, which a lot of people, that used to be a big question. Where do I put my resources? Uh, and it used to be, especially when they kind of dropped the, the reach for everyone, it used to not make sense to even send anyone to a, a business page. Uh, and that it's interesting now that that may have flipped because the, you mentioned getting somebody back to a business page where they can interact with a bot. And we've had a few folks on the show to talk about how to use bots for lead generation, not much on how to like interact organically with people and then send them over to a platform where they can you know chat with a bot. So what what kind of uh, what kind of scenario do you see that happening in where we move from like a really authentic organic place like Instagram and we send them over to somewhere else where we can serve them in a different way with a chatbot? So let's say that I do a IGTV on uh, $15,000 down. We have a program called the MMRP. And I tell them, um, click on the link or here's additional information. Um, or they could inbox me. Let's make it simple. Mm -hmm. I can now, through Messenger or inbox, make sure that they are connected to the bot, right? And the bot would start the, here's the, the information. Would you like additional information? Would you like to get pre-approved? And so coming back and adding that call to action, but making sure that we have ads that display. So inside of Facebook, you can do a lead gen ad. The lead gen ad talks to the bot. Gotcha. Okay, perfect. And then Instagram is owned by Facebook. So that same lead gen is displayed in the feed as well over on Instagram. Okay. Yeah. Love it. All right. Let's finish out with this. Uh, tell us a little bit about your podcast, and, and we'll talk about, you know, obviously people can find it on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Same place you listen to Real Estate Uncensored. You can go find it. So tell us a little bit about the show. So the show is Social Selling Made Simple with Marky. Uh, we just dropped our 10th interview with uh, James Rembert, the Zillow Killer, which was a really good show. Mm -hmm. And even though I tr am in front of realtors essentially every single day, what I love is the caliber of people that we're interviewing and that the fact that I'm learning something every single day and I have to implement something every single day as a result of having a podcast. So the podcast is actually making me smarter. Um, Chelsea Pites talked me how to set up uh now i have alexa skills uh and i i think and that's just freaking awesome but how just to leverage the whole audio not just from the podcast but also in building out alexa skills and so the show has been very interesting but i would call it educational because it's not overwhelming but it gives you something to do every week in order to enhance your online presence for the purpose of lead generation in the world of real estate yep serving more people Yep. All right, Marky, you have one yes. new subscriber to your podcast. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. <laughs> well, I, I need to go digest this because I'm sitting, I'm going to go watch my own show again and just be like, what the hell is this woman talking about? Like, okay, I got the TV thing. Now I can do it where? And the three little buttons do what? Yeah. Okay. All right. I have my training wheels are on. Okay. These are big buttons and colors. Okay, I need this. <laughs> Good. <laughs> It's really, no, like, this is seriously interesting stuff. Um, you know, I make a lot of jokes, but I'm deadly serious. I mean, this content is fantastic um, because there's, it's, it's, it's the Wild West of digital social media, right? I mean, the, the, you can, the, now you have a YouTube channel. You can have an Instagram TV channel. You can have an Instagram channel. <laughs> you have a Facebook account. You have a Snapchat uh, you have an inst you have a you have a uh, you have a uh, uh, Pinterest, LinkedIn. LinkedIn. Pinterest Look, and then LinkedIn. wait 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 because LinkedIn Live is coming. I'm seeing it beta ah. tested right now uh, yeah, in I the feed. Yeah, I can't wait either. That's going to be pretty interesting. I think people going to have to take it up a notch though. This yeah. is going to be heavy content. Yeah, it's going to be it's, but it's not going to be fluffy kittens. This is going to be hardcore business content. This is a completely yeah. different realm, and I I'm really looking forward to that because I've been I've been really bad at at LinkedIn. Just because it's it's just felt old and fuddy duddy, right? But now I can go and I can I, when I can go live in there, I can't wait to drop real real estate information or you know some of the investment properties I'm buying, um, you know buy, how how I've structured them, do interviews with different people, really bring solid business information. Yeah. Um, I, I this is just I mean I'm gonna go out with my so I'm sitting here, uh, and one of my original clients from almost 19 years ago. 
Willen and Mary Wong. Willen just hit me up and said, hey, dude, come over. I want to talk about buying and selling my house. I'm like, okay, like two and a half million. Sure, I'll come over. I'm casual. So he's cool as shit, right? Guess who's going to do their, who's going to do an Instagram TV with their client at their house? You. This dude. <laughs> so it's going to be interesting to see how it works. Like, should I shoot it on the way there? Should I shoot it there? Should I shoot it afterward? I mean, what would be the best quality of content? I mean, why don't you do this? Why don't you shoot all? Because remember, it's pre-recorded video. So you could actually come in and edit it as long as it's vertical and then put it up. So yeah. I could do, hey, guys, I'm on the way over to my client's house. I haven't seen them. I haven't talked to them forever, blah, blah, blah. I'll let you know when I get there. Stop video. Yep. Start Boom. Video. I'm here. Hi. Isn't What's this up? gorgeous? Yeah. So uh, I would he- I would probably do three videos and then merge them. Right now, now, we're going to have to talk afterwards because now I'm working. What? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, with that said, let's uh, let's put a lovely uh, – let's t- let's tie a burgundy bow uh, around this particular uh, podcast episode. So you can find Marky all over the place. You can find the podcast on Apple Podcasts, iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, all the places you listen to our show. Make sure you give us both a five-star rating and a review. If you review our podcast, make sure to give Marky a shout-out in the review. Thank her for her – Time and contribution, all that fun stuff. And, uh, Greg, shall we put a nice bow upon this one? Yeah, man. We've been doing this show for, what, four-plus years? I mean, not very many times have we, have we ever had a guest when, when – like, very rarely have we had a guest. When I get off, the, uh, off our own podcast, I'm like, wow. <laughs> broke your brain. Broke my bro- – James, the Zilla killer, broke my yeah. brain. Marky, Woo! you broke my brain. James broke friend. my brain. <laughs> oh, that boy breaks people's brains. And he just talks like it's normal. I'm like, yeah. dude, you're not normal, man. Okay? You're not normal. Stop that. <laughs> All right. No, guys, I love you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Please go rewatch this. Please, you know, write what Marky wrote down, was talked about, because this is really good stuff. I know I'm going to go rewatch it, uh, because this is really interesting stuff. I mean, truly interesting. So thanks for watching. Thanks for sharing. Marky, legitimately, thank you. Um, well, thank you for having me. I appreciate and it. We're kidnapping you, and you're coming back. Okay, not a way, problem. You are too smart to not be back on this show. <laughs> Good. Um, but I love you guys. Until next time, peace out, ninjas. We're gone. <laughs>